So, the question on everybody's lips. The cost of buying a used motorhome in 2024. Daughter van is going to cost you around about the 15,000. So the Volkswagen will always get a bit of a premium on the price. There you get a starter van, roughly what you're going to be paying. So let's look at the next step up from that. So this is a new one. So this is going to cost you around about 25 to 30,000 pounds. That's really exploded over the last few years is the camper van now to about the £60,000 mark now. Yeah. So then your newer vans now are going to be around about the 70 to 80,000. And then I'm just going to show you another fixed bed, but we're going to go up another level. Luxury. New Year, Kev. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you put the camera on me? Yeah. That's Betty. Oh, I'm the camera, do you? Oh, I'm doing the talking, aren't I? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, New Year. Yeah. Anybody mm. thinking of getting a motorhome? Anyone thinking about Partex and new motorhome? Prices have changed over the years. Spend your Christmas money. <laughs> Whatever. So, the question on everybody's lips. The cost of buying a used motorhome in 2024. Because we did one a few years ago. And as you know, prices have all changed. Um, they've all gone up. With that, what I'm finding now is that prices now are levelling out, basically. They're not dropping like people said, though. No, they're not dropping yeah. like people said. Oh, the prices will come down. They'll be bargains to be had. Right, so Eight what thousand. we'll do, we'll have a look at all the different type of camper vans, motorhomes there are, um, have a look at the pricing, and we'll give you an insight of what it's going to cost you to buy a motorhome in 2024. So let's start off with the small... We call them micro camper vans. They're in everyday use. You can use them all the time and use them as well as camping. Um, so this is a starter van, it's a 2003 Rome Rome. So with your micro camper van, you're pretty much getting bench seats, which will make up into a bed. You're getting your fridge, your hobs, you're getting the sink. You might get a little bit of heating as well, um, but it's pretty much a standard little micro camper van. 2003 starter van is going to cost you around about the 15,000. So here we have a little Nemo, which is on a 2018. So you're talking 15 years younger. So you're going to pay more for this and there's jason so this is a new one so this is going to cost you around about 25 to thirty thousand pound so next on the list is the volkswagens just like this one so let's start with the volkswagens and start with the starter van start a volkswagen like this debony this is a 2007 it's going to be around about the twenty-five thousand. you're going to get a little bit more than your micro camper um, seats to obviously sleep on you're going to get yourself a fridge you might get a bit of hot water as well and you'll probably get some heating so that's your starter camper now what i mean by a volkswagen camper van you will get other chassis so it's the same, same type of format so you're getting something like the ford over there and then you're also getting something like the renault here as well now the bit of a difference is if you can see that's a 2015 renault that's at 32 but you've got a 2014 which is a bit older on at 34 so the volkswagen will always get a bit of a premium on the price so just like the 2007 Devon I've shown you, this Volkswagen is pretty much the same layout as well. And you're getting quite a bit in it, such as your oven, sink, and a bit of a shower and a toilet as well. So they're same similar type of layouts. And then on your other type of Volkswagen layout you're going to get is you're going to get your rock and roll bed, you'll get a hob, a sink, some might have hot water, some might not, a compressor fridge, and also some vans might have eating and might not. So there's your two types of, of layouts for the camper vans. Now we're moving up to, so as you see with this Volkswagen, it's a 2019. It's going to be anywhere between 40 and 45,000. And then we're moving right the way up to nearly new. This is just done under 100 miles, a few months old. It's going to be costing anywhere between 67 to 72,000 pounds. So there you've got an idea on your Volkswagen. Uh, range but if it's on a Renault or a Ford or a different chassis you're going to be knocking two three four thousand pounds off the price because the premium you're paying for the Volkswagen keep up Kev keep up come on I know I'm wearing my little legs out we're moving on to coach build motorhomes now so we've got a typical example of 2005 now a 2005 is going to set you back between 20 to 25 thousand pounds now don't forget you're going to get age-related problems with them with mechanical and also internal because you're still talking what 19 year old 
Well, you, you find the lower mileage though, Jason, with them being a coach built, the lower mileage yeah. than the van conversion. Quickly show you inside to give you an idea for the starter motor home. Oh, oh Jason, I need the step. <laughs> I can't get up there. <laughs> I can't get up. <laughs> Look, look at me waist nearly. <laughs> Told you to have his age related problems, Kev, wasn't I? Look, I can't get my leg up there, man. Go on, pull that step out. Well, pull out. That's one of your age related problems. I've just said that. It is another age related I've problem. Me and Kevin. Go get a step. Go get a step. As you can see, quite a nice little family camper van motor home, actually. This is. It's a uh, five berth. You've got your dinette, you've got your bench seat, you're getting over cab there. At the back, you're getting the kitchen, and then you will get. Bet you've done it without me, haven't you? A washroom as well. Oh. I'm in. <laughs> I have I've done it. Oh, Back out now again. Oh, we're gonna step. <laughs> right, okay then, come on. There you get a starter van, roughly what you're gonna be paying. So let's look at the next step up from that. <laughs> I like the word step. <laughs> now, before we dash off, what I want to show you on them, this van, it's a 2005. So this is the old shape. And what we'll do now is we'll move on to the next motorhome with the different shape. So now we have a van which we call, which is called a facelift model. If you notice the front, the headlights and everything. This is a 2010. The model changed late 2006, early 2007 to this facelift model. Uh, you've got a similar layout to the Hymer, which you will see inside. I think Jason's hiding in there somewhere. Where have you been? Oh, I've been talking to myself, but apparently. Same way out as the Hymer, Kev. Yep, I said it before. Overcap bed, dinette, sleeping area, typical fire berth. Just flip around there, just yep. show the wash, quick, quickly show your washroom. Yeah, more modern. Kitchen in the back. Yeah. Now, this is, we're moving up now to 25, 30, 32,000 pounds. So, we've showed the old shape, we've showed the facelift. Let's see what other shape there is. So, we're now moving from the facelift model. So the new shape, new shape came out 2014. Uh, you will notice the difference. This is actually a compact, which is becoming very, very popular. And like I say, in five years, you'll notice the difference with the interior as well. But they are a very, very popular van, these little compacts. Uh, we'll find Jason who's inside, who's going to explain. Hello. As you can see, Kev and everybody, We've completely gone up another notch. Yeah, in five years. In five years. So round about the forty-five thousand part, even up to the fifty thousand pound mark, we're completely changing layouts and everything are pretty much the same. Appliances have probably been upgraded a little bit more, but I don't know if you mentioned about it how popular the compact van yeah, become are, yeah. as well. And we've gone from two thousand five to two thousand and ten to two thousand fifteen. So shall we see something now, just a couple of years old? Yeah. And let's have a look at the difference from there. Yeah. So now we're jumping from 2015 to 2021. Uh, this is on a different chassis. This is on a Ford chassis. Again, it's a compact van, which we've said is very, very popular. And uh, we'll just see what the layout's like inside this one. Uh, as you can see, straight away, we've got much lighter woodwork and a big fridge. Well, there's Jason. <laughs> Another compact and very popular van cab. We're up now to about the £60,000 mark now. Yeah. So then your newer vans now are going to be round about the seventy to eight eighty thousand. So we've jumped up from 05 to 10 to 15 to 21. So that's give you an idea. Of um, what you get, the difference you'll get, and the same with the different cab, yeah. Yeah. So, tally on, let's move on to the next type of motor. The biggest growth area, um, as well as the compact motorhome that's really exploded over the last few years, is the camper van. And what I mean by the camper van is your transit or Fiat um, commercial van, Kev. Is yeah, that what van, van conversion. Van yeah. conversion. Not so much the self builds or where they've been done by smaller companies, more the branded van conversions, such as your Swifts, your Auto Trail. Um, your Adra and things like that. Now, a 2005 is going to set you back around about 20s to 25s. Moving up, we haven't got a 2005, so I can't show you one. Yeah. A 2010, and what's that there, Kev? That's the facelift model. 
the facelift like we showed you with the motor which we'll show you or we have showed you with the motorhomes the facelift model now this is a 2011 this is going to cost you around about between the 30 and 35 now this is more to the 35,000 pounds and the reason being is I'll show you inside. I can see what you mean by the difference inside. <laughs> the boo boo dear Kev. <laughs> this one's sold. We've just finished checking the van off actually. And now it's all, been, cleaned it's all been cleaned and everything. But this is a perfect example of a good quality motor mm. uh, camper van. It's a Trigano Tribute. And it's probably one of the nicest fans we've had in for this age. It's got mile, mileage, I think it's about 30,000 miles, 26. It's got great service history. It's got great habitation history. Full size fridge, freezer. I know you can't see the cushions on there. You can see some of the build quality. But they're actually <laughs> meant it's a good quality. So you are going to pay top end for a van like this. So, further ado, we better move on, Kev. Yeah, and find one that's not been burgled we're going to jump up five or six years now to 2017 16 17 18 and then there is going to be a fair jump up to round about now the 50k mark and the reason being kev new shape was that it it's a new shape it's got a new end different engine cab's, uh, different, cab's as different as well interior is different uh, so with it just being the new shape it's not just a new shape no, it's the you... new engine the cab and everything else as well um, that goes on that's why you're getting a bigger jump but also you're getting a bigger jump because um, there's a bigger market for them people want the newer camper vans as well so they're holding the price out really well to be bit, honest with you say a bit more bang for your bucks y yeah so you're going to get on the camper van van conversions they're going to be 5.99 meters 6 meters or, or 6.36 meters yeah. Most of the camper vans are all going to have your bench seats, which will make up into a double bed. You'll get um, kitchen area, centre kitchen area with your Hobbs grill. You'll get a microwave in. You're getting a combined shower. Um, you're getting hot and cold heating. Hot and cold heating? You mean hot and cold water? <laughs> hot and cold water. We're getting heating. We're getting gas and electric. So you're getting all your mod cons. And um, basically, so really, that's why there has there is a bit of a jump now but also if you're actually actually after a luxury camper van walk this way now jumping up another year or two we are also jumping on probably another 10k and the reason being is something like this Ultra Sleeper Kingdom and a high spec quality van so I'll just show you what you're getting for your money you're also on a long wheelbase Jason aren't we good shot Kev yep what you're getting, let's put some lights on for you because I'd like to show you this van off. Is you're getting a bench seat here, and then if you just come in, Kev, you're getting automatic. Don't forget, you will have a premium of three or four thousand for an automatic vehicle. So, like this one's an auto, so again, why we're jumping up in price. We're getting air con on it, we're getting air ride suspension, again, we're getting microwave, we're getting space, we're getting a great double bed at the back. Kitchen, uh, kitchen area, Kev. Bathroom area. Yes, sorry, and then these vans are probably the best camper vans that Auto Sleeper do. And you can understand, obviously, when you get into one of these, why. Uh, all the little touches as well you're getting. So, what's built into the price on something like this would be your automatic, your air ride suspension, um, your air conditioning as well, and then also. As Kev said, it's a longer base, you're getting the alloys, you're getting the awning, you're getting solar, and you're getting the fixed bed. That's so right. let's have a look now, possibly what you're going to be paying for at New Van. So I had to finish my sense off because he cut me off. <laughs> now let's go up to something nearly new, a few months old, a 2023. This one's a Swift, so now we're in the 70k mark. And what you're getting, we're getting a new engine, Kev, aren't we? Yep as well yeah we're getting the the euro six for the ad blue uh, is it the new gearbox on it because this one's an automatic uh, with a nine speed gearbox there you go with the new nine speed true auto new cab area as well yep it's not the comfortmatic box it's the uh, true auto box so this is what 70 70 75 grams is going to get you as well and again it's all looking a bit more modern here not so much modern from the other bands we've seen but I think what you're paying for more is more the cab yeah because obviously all everything's changed again so there you go 
your breakdown through of all your camper vans. So let's go and have a look at something a little bit different with the motorhomes. Now, if you really want to spend your money, you've enjoyed your motorhome and you've enjoyed your camper van, and your next level is tend to be is you're going to go for a bigger motorhome because you're going to be doing more holidays, going abroad, or going to Europe and everywhere else. So what people do tend to do then is go for the fixed bed motorhome. So. You aren't going to have much change at the £55,000 mark for a five or six year old motorhome. We'll show you this Bailey on a 2017, which is about 55 with a fixed bed. Um, and let's see now what you're getting for your money. Now I'm only going to show you the most popular fixed bed, which I think is the best type of fixed bed. And that is the island bed. So as you can see, this is what we mean by an island bed, because you can get around um, both sides. You're going to get a full size shower and toilet, you're getting great prep area, loads of storage and a dinette, not dinette area, living area type of thing. So what you're basically getting with these type of motorhomes is a little flat on wheels that you can spend quite a bit, a bit of, of luxury. Yeah, but you can, the main thing is you can spend time in these vans. So here's a 2017, let's go and have a look see what 60 grand is going to get you and what age that's going to be. Now we're moving up now to 2020. Let's see what 60 grand's going to get you with a fixed bed. Again, we're getting dinette, because don't forget, we're going to be spending a lot of time in the van. The kitchen area, quickly show you the washroom, because it's going to be a separate shower, Kev. Yeah, nice separate shower. And again, we're getting an island bed. The difference with this island bed it's transverse. is transverse. transverse. So there's another populous way. And then I'm just going to show you another fixed bed, but we're going to go up another level. Luxury. Now we're moving to premium, so we're going up to 70 grand and above. This one's in a lake here. And what you really get in here is, check out the dining area, kitchen area, living area. I don't even know what it is, Kev. It's a dinette, but it's also the lounge. Uh, nice cab area. Very nice. Very, we're very getting nice. the um, tall slimline fridge, we're getting the kitchen area. Now it's fixed bed, but we're getting the singles. Which are becoming very popular. Some really of popular. And we're getting the end bedroom. But I'm not getting any words out here. Can no, I end washroom. End washroom. Which doubles as a dressing room. And the amount of storage in here is unreal. Oh, yeah. There's loads and loads of storage. Oh, so. we've got a small kitchen area in the continental vans, don't you? Yeah, you don't But they make up for it with everything else. Yeah. And again, designed for spending a lot of time in the van. So there you have, I hope it's been helpful, a bit of a guide into the different types of motorhomes, what they're going to cost you um, next year. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And, and any questions, bang them in the comments. Okie dokie. That's what we're in for. See you later.